Good day, everyone. It's the middle of July already. For those of us who remember the music of the 1970s, Joni Mitchell was declared by Rolling Stones magazine as one of the greatest songwriters ever. There's a great lyric in her song, The Big Yellow Taxi, that goes, don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone. That certainly might describe us these days. It's so easy to take things for granted. We certainly know that now when what we did so easily a few months ago, we cannot even do today or we do it so differently with masks and social distancing. Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone. We are all struggling to maintain our mental health these days as the world seems to be spinning out of control. So let me make one suggestion for all of us. There is a great deal of psychological research these days on the role of gratitude. Across many, many studies, practicing gratitude has been found to, to increase positive emotions, to, to reduce the risk of depression to heighten relationship satisfaction and increase resilience in the face of all the stressful life events. Unfortunately, the negatives in our lives, the disappointments, the resentments, the fears, these sometimes occupy more of our attention than the positives in our lives. Dr. Robert Emmons is a leading scientific expert on gratitude, and he argues that intentionally developing a grateful outlook help us, helps us both to recognize good things in our lives and, and to realize that many of these good things are, are gifts that we have been very fortunate to receive. By making gratitude a habit, we can begin to change the emotional tone of our lives creating more space for joy and more space for connection with others. So Dr. Emmons suggests four simple practices that I'll share with you today. First of all, simply count our blessings. In the midst of any of our crosses, in the midst of any of our pain, we all have blessings to be grateful for. Secondly, he talks about doing a mental subtraction of positive events go through our lives, bring up those things that were very positive, and ask ourselves, what would it have been like if we hadn't had that positive event? And reflect upon that positive event and be grateful. Thirdly, he suggests that we really try to savor the moment. And perhaps we savor the moment by giving something up for a week and then coming back to it and realizing how wonderful it really is when we don't have it. And fourth and last, keep saying thank you as much as possible. Write thank you notes. Keep a thank you, a gratitude journal to write down all the things that we're grateful for. During these days when the world seems to be spinning out of control, gratitude helps us to stay centered, to stay grounded, to keep ourselves emotionally healthy by focusing on what we have, not on what we don't have. The Apostle Paul exhorts us in scripture to give thanks for all things, in all circumstances, even in suffering, and to do everything in the name of Jesus out of a spirit of gratitude. Back to that Joni Mitchell song. She wrote it, she says, when she arrived in Hawaii to do a concert, she got to her hotel room looked out the window and where she had previously experienced lush gardens with palm trees, they had turned it into a parking lot. And that's when she wrote, don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone. Have a peaceful and grateful week, everyone.